right? This is BSPWM, which is Binary Space Window Manager. Okay, kind of give you the overview here. Uh, well, my overview, my layout. Anyway, okay. And the first first tab here, I have uh, MOC, so music player. Uh, I have my connection, which is a uh, WIC D curses. Below that, I have uh, also mixer. But um, uh, really, I wanted to kind of look at this bar here. Uh, when you first get BSP WM, it's 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 bare. It's naked. There's nothing with it. Um, it's real plain. Uh, I'll tell you, it, it, and I love it. But I love it because of the bar. I mean, really, what makes it is the bar. If you get the right bar. And I feel sorry for the people that have the experience that don't get the right bar. <laughs> but I'm just going to go through my bar real quick. Um, how I put it together. I really like how this bar come out. Uh, it's a cross between like the Lemon Boy, Lemon Boy bar and uh, DZ EN2. Uh, I don't know if they're one and the same or exactly what the combination is there. If uh, Lemon Boy designed the... Um, the workspaces is what I'm guessing. Uh, when I got this bar, it had the workspaces on it. It had the date. That was it, right? So I put this 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 together. I I, I grabbed the um, XBM icons. I got the note here for the music. I have the speaker. I have uh, the little mail icon. I have uh, the battery calendar and the grid. Everything everything's interactive uh, like you click on the grid you get like a 90 90 degree rotation okay um, click on the calendar it kind of hides your workspace uh, you click on the mail a little thing drops down here and tell you if you have any new mail which I'm not a hundred percent sure if that works completely I might have to play with the code play with it um, the speaker, you actually click on that. I got to show you. Here. Okay, this is this is one thing that's nice is this is interactive. And I'm gonna talk about that. But you click on the speaker, it kind of mutes it out. Which I'm just gonna pause this this anyway. Um, every other bar that I find out there has something for every other music daemon, every other music player out there. I could not find code for MOC. And I use MOC. Um, I, I just couldn't find it. Finally, I, I kept searching and searching. And I came across this code this guy had, and it actually um, it printed out it printed out the information, whether it's the artist, the title, the album, everything to the terminal. And I thought this is perfect. This is perfect. I can use this. So I kept playing with it. I kept playing with it, and I got it to come out on the bar first I, I kept having to come out I, I was putting it on from uh, right to left so when the song was too long it would push the grid off it pushed the calendar the date off so I kept messing with it and then finally I got it to where I put it over with the workspaces and it went from left to right now if this, even if the song the title's too long it'll actually bury itself below beneath all this stuff so everything works out perfect I love how it came out. Um, this bar below actually was uh, it's it's the X Xmo bar, and it's it's the bar I used for Xmonad, and it's it's actually written in Haskell, and it kind of it's kind of nice. I didn't expect it to, but it ported right over from from um, Xmonad. Um, so I actually don't recommend getting it because you got to download uh, I think it's 45 packages all together and it, I mean and it's big you got to download all of Haskell the compiler everything and that's just to get the bar so I really don't think it's worth it but I mean for me yeah it was it cuz I already had everything downloaded so I already had everything if you have everything go for it um, there, there's a third part of this bar that I do want to talk about. It's this this menu. It's not a part of Xmo bar. 
it's actually written in uh, DZEN2 um, and you click on it it comes up and I actually have a, a, a file uh, put away and it's um, I have soft links um, uh, directly to the, the the binary path or like user user slash bin slash blah 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 or, or if it's a game uh, user slash game slash bin slash game whatever game it is um, I just kind of want to move on here uh, this here is actually uh, news news builder opened up into X links like uh, if I if I close this out goes right into news builder I come back and robot and other builds and improves its own children great read about that it opens up an X links which is kind of neat but yeah um, below this I have pod builder which opens up podcasts um, to the right I have slurm which is a um, um, comprehensive um, interactive program that monitors your internet trafficking. So, I normally have that. Below that, I have ATOP, similar to HTOP. Uh, below ATOP, I have TTY clock. Um, moving on. Did kind of want to just go through this because I do think it's kind of interesting. Um, the comprehensive list of window managers for Unix, and this guy put it together here. Um, it says here this is a list of every freely available window manager I'm aware of roughly 180 as of and it looks like March of 2011 so I mean they've been out and around and I know people don't hardly know about them at all let alone know there's 180 of them but I'm just gonna kind of kind of show you I don't know I might have played with 9 or 10 of them Maybe more. I'm not sure. Yeah. Lots out there. Uh, yeah, the the ones, if, if you see, the one that's black, if you look up in the corner of the bar again, uh, the, the space that's black, that's the space I'm on. The spaces that are green have nothing on them. The spaces that are blue have stuff on them. So, um, this I normally have WeChat open on the bottom. Up top I have Ranger, and I'm normally either watching uh, either either watching a show or like like reading like reading a comic. Let's see, open up a comic. Kind of push it off to the the side here. That's just part of my workflow. That's it. Um, yeah, you can see here too that I I have all four of my processors that are at a hundred percent. My memory is it. It looks like forty seven percent. Um, and aside from the recording, I have R torn up, and I'm not downloading anything. But I, I am on a Gen 2 um, system, and I am um, downloading um, and compiling um, source code. Um, and I just, I'm just gonna say this real quick. I mean, when when you do download and compile source code for your specific machine you do see a difference rather than when it when when you use like a binary distro um, because it, it's just once once you download and compile it and you compile it for your machine specifically um, it just it'll run better off your machine it's that's just the way Gentoo works I and, and it, it seems like once you get there and once you're used to that um, and once you see the difference it's not something that you really want to you can't come back from it's a little hard to come back from anyway but 
that's that. It does take a while to compile. It's uh, pros and cons to everything, but I know that. I think the trade-off's worth it. But uh, let me bring it off this. Uh, here I just have uh, G thumbs with uh, Thunar open. Going through different. Oh, I was just looking at different. Uh, I thought I seen a really cool Batman. Here somewhere. I don't know. One of them was not the one I wanted. Uh, oh. This video isn't even. It's no longer appropriate for the internet. <laughs> I think we'll be alright. That's one bad man. Still wasn't the one I wanted. Huh. Oh, well, I give up. To look for it later. All right. I'm uh, just wrapping that up. That's. That's about it. If do you have any questions, uh, don't be afraid to ask. See if I can help you with something, uh, let me know. That's about it. Take care.